What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be going over do you actually have to be in shape before you go to boot camp? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So there's this big old like thing about if you're not in shape before you go to boot camp, you're gonna struggle, your life's gonna be hell, all that, right, all that, all that bull crap, right? And my answer to that is yes and no, right? So you do not necessarily have to be in shape before you go to boot camp. All you need to be doing is meeting those minimum requirements, right? So the minimum pull-ups, crunches, uh, and the runtime. That's it. Because at boot camp, they're going to fuck you up. You're going to get slayed. They're going to make sure you get in shape. You're going to have no choice but to get in shape, right? So you're going, you're going to improve. You're going to automatically get better. So you do not have to come to boot camp as a stud, as like a fucking D1 athlete. Like, no, you don't have to come to boot camp like that. They're going to get you to the point that you need to get to. You just need to be able to just barely get into that motherfucker. If you're barely getting into boot camp, you're barely meeting the requirements, that's fine. Because as long as you get there, that's all that counts. Stop stressing about you're not getting the max pull-ups, max crunches. You're not getting the best runtime. It will come over time. A lot of people out there are trying to join the, the Marine Corps, the military in general, whatever. They've never worked out before. This is new, something new to them. Um, so if it's something new to you, stop stressing out about it. Just get what you got to get done so that you can get your foot in the door. And once you get your foot in the door, the Marine Corps, the drill instructors, I'm telling you, they're going to do the rest for you. They're going to get you to where you need to be. Now, the counterpart, the counterpart to that is if you are in shape before you go to boot camp, that's one less thing you got to worry about. So that's what my case was, right? I was already in shape. I've been playing sports my whole life. I've been going to the gym, all that. I was already in shape. I was already doing max pull-ups, max crunches. I just didn't have my max runtime, right? I still had a decent runtime, but I, it just wasn't the best, right? I wasn't getting a perfect 300 PFT, but I was maxing out my pull-ups and my crunches. So it took a lot of stress off of me because the drill instructors weren't on my ass because I was already maxing out the pull-ups and the crunches. They know not everybody's going to be a fucking like Olympic runner, right? But they at least want to see you put out effort on the pull-ups and crunches, right? So that took a lot of heat off of myself. It was a lot of less stress on me worrying about having to improve certain things. All I was trying to focus on doing was improving my runtime because I was already maxing out on everything else, right? Because you also have to think about in boot camp, you're not worried about just the physical aspect. You have a mental aspect as well. And that's the most important thing is the mental aspect. So if you already come to boot camp, you know, already physically prepared, and you know you're gonna blow that out of the water. You don't even have to worry about really the physical part of boot camp because it's not that bad. They say they say boot camp is 80% mental and 20% physical. So if you take out that 20%, that's like that's that's you need all the time for your mind that you can get right. So if you can take out that 20% and just really just focus on the mind aspect, it's gonna make boot camp a breeze. I'm telling you, it's gonna make it a breeze. So if you are you know trying to alleviate that stress or you you're trying to get better, keep going, keep doing it, keep you working before boot camp. You know what I'm saying? You want to get as far ahead as possible so then you can alleviate that stress. But if you just can't get over that hump and you just need that extra push, it's all right. Make it to boot camp, get your foot in the door, and the boot and the drill instructors will give you that extra extra bump and they will, they will push you for the rest of your you know fitness journey the crazy thing is a lot of people do not think about this everyone's worried about being in shape before they go to boot camp or all that stuff but they need to worry about maintaining it uh, while you're a marine and that's one of the hardest things is maintaining your fitness goals and maintaining you know that run time those max pull-ups and crunches because you're not having a drill instructor work you out every single day you're not having them pt you every single day it's on your own then you gotta worry and then you gotta think about it. you're gonna be wanting to play video games eat out you know what i'm saying people want to eat domino's all the time wendy's mcdonald's all that stuff so you're gonna be gaining weight you're gonna be getting slower you're gonna be eating junky food and you're not doing that boot camp you're eating pretty healthy food you're not eating junk food and all that stuff i would say stress less about worrying about the whole boot camp aspect and worry about actually when you get your foot you know, in the door as a Marine, once you become a Marine, how are you gonna maintain those things that you've got at boot camp, right? That's what I think that most people should be focused on. All in all, do you have to be fit before boot camp? No, but will it help you out? Yes, it will. So stop stressing about it. It is what it is. Just go to boot camp and get it done. Well, guys, hopefully this was a help to somebody. Hopefully this kind of eased somebody's mind. I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm stressing myself out a little too much about being the whole, you know, fit and in shape thing before boot camp. Yeah, relax. I'm telling you, relax. Uh, you're going to be fine. But guys, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Uh, comment down below on my next video. What should I talk about next? Let me know how many pull-ups you're doing, how many crunches you're doing, what's your runtime, uh, all that stuff down there in the comments, please. I like, I just read them. Sometimes I don't respond because it's a lot, sure, but I promise I do actually read them uh, and I do take them into account as far as uh, my next upcoming video. So please leave me some comments down below, guys. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, I need you to subscribe, 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 subscribe. I'm trying to get 100K before 
you know, at least 20 freaking 25. All right. So I'm, I'm trying to put in the work. I'm trying to put in uh, as much effort as I can towards y'all, but I need y'all to help me out. I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to bring in people. I need y'all to just do whatever y'all got to do to bring people to trail the great so then I can help out other people as well. But guys, as always, thanks for 